monday.com free version review hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll showcase monday.com and how you can use it for free uh, or not necessarily how to use it just i'm going to go through the things that monday.com can offer you for the free version now monday.com is a platform that includes many tools that are going to help you with your productivity this could be work management um, and many other things that can help you track your progress with your work as you can see here there are going to be a lot of things that you can do for it task management marketing operations and stuff like that and it's going to help you out a lot with your work progress and just keeping track of things and having uh, it all in one single platform now it does come with different price plans but most importantly and the one that we will be focusing on is going to be the free plan so this free plan is actually going to be completely for free and it's up to two seats free forever uh, and this is going to um, the main points here that are listed in here that you will have up to three boards so basically you can create three boards within the free version you can do so much stuff within the board so don't worry too much uh, and then unlimited docs and more stuff in here uh, so those are going to be the highlights but it may not seem like much when you see it from here but actually the free version does include quite a lot of tools that you can use um, so let's actually get to it so basically what you will need to do to get started just go to monday.com and just sign up by just clicking on get started and just go ahead and create your account It's going to be a uh, you know regular signing up process it's not going to be anything too complicated so i'm just going to skip uh this step and i'm just going to actually log in uh so just make sure you sign up and i will meet you when i get to the dashboard okay so once you actually sign up they will take you to this page they will obviously ask you a few questions like how you want to or how you intend to use monday.com but then they will show you this page where you'll be able to create your first board so you can just go ahead and name it whatever you want basically a board is a place where um you can think of it as projects if you have used pro other different project management tools you can think of it as uh, the project title and then underneath that you will have all types of content in there uh, that could be tasks that could be many different things so it's just a name of the board you can just name it the name of the project I'll just do example board. Sorry for that. So there you go. And I'm just going to click on next. And then here you can also choose um, the things that you want to see in your board. So if you want to have files. Now, by the way, all of these settings, you can obviously edit them later on. But those are just going to be the initial settings that you want to set up if you just get started. Uh, and then you can just go ahead and set up things like priority and you can see how it's going to change on the right side so timeline last updated if we want to also add notes there you go and click on next here you can also select the items uh, we would like to manage again you can change this later on whether it's going to be creatives projects or tasks i'm just going to do those uh, as tasks and you can also do custom if you want click on next uh, and then the view, if you want to be a Kanban view, timeline, or whatever it may be. And again, I keep saying this, you can change it later on. I'll, I just prefer the Kanban view, and I'm just going to click on next. And now we can just add more some tasks here, like uh, write uh, script, edit video, publish video, and click on next. so now we have more stuff here so we can automate our work we can just go ahead and actually just skip this i don't want to take up too much time basically this is going to set up your first board more easily so now we have our dashboard here and we have a lot of tutorials that are going to also help us out so we said that we can actually go ahead and create three boards in here so we can actually go ahead uh, and create a new board we can just click on the plus icon and click on new board and uh, the free version uh, allows you to get up to three different boards 
Now in boards, you can actually go ahead and uh, let me just go to Kanban view. There you go. Uh, in boards, you can actually go ahead and um, didn't I just add the right script? Oh, there you go. Okay. So uh, we can actually go ahead and manage our tasks in this view. We can set up uh, a or assign a person to a specific task. So if I want, I can just go ahead and actually delete those. I don't really need them. There you go. There you go. And there you go. So here we go. Uh, so we can just go ahead and actually go ahead. Uh, sorry. Uh, invite people first. Now you can. Uh, the free version allows you to add to up to three people, including yourself. So you can add two more team members in here. Uh, and you can actually go ahead and invite them from here. So if you if you want, you can just go ahead and enter their email address and it's going to show up for you. Later, we can actually go ahead and integrate more apps in here. It's also going to be included within the free version. So if you want to use any of those, or you can actually go ahead and search for it. There are going to be a lot of integrations that Monday.com uses, which is going to help you quite a bit if you're using different platforms as well. Now, after you are finished up with your uh, setting things up, especially making the theme dark, uh, we can actually go ahead and start doing things like adding tasks in here. We can see the Kanban view and these lists. We can click on the plus and it's going to create a new task for us. We can give it a name like uh, write a script again. And we can just go ahead and change the status either from here or we can just drag it later on. We can set up the priority. We can add a note uh, and we can also set up a due date if we want to and assign a person to it. I'm just going to assign it to myself. Uh, add a priority, which is just going to make it as high. And if you want, you can actually just uh, add a due date. I'm not going to do that, but yeah, you can just set up a task. Now you have your task in here, you can actually go ahead and move them around to the different types of lists, you can change the sorting, the filtering, the people, you can sort by people as well. And you can do things like search for specific things. Now, if we go to my work section here is actually going to show you a summary of all the works that are, uh, you could say assigned to yourself. You can see past dates today, this week, and uh, more stuff in here. This is quite nice if you want to just have your tasks all organized in one space. And if for the home page, you can actually see it in more of a general space. So for example, it's not going to only be about yourself. This is going to be where you can see a lot of stuff like the feed about how your teammates are doing, what, uh, what they are doing, if they have created anything recently visited, things like that. And you can actually go ahead and uh, set things up in here as well if you want to. And then we have our workspaces. Workspaces are going to be the highest level of um, categorization, you could say. So underneath this workspace, we have this board basically, and we can actually go ahead and uh, add another workspace. Basically, if you want to add a workspace or a different workspace, maybe if it's uh, a completely different type of work or completely different people that you're working with. This is the only thing that I would imagine you would create a new workspace for. If it's a different project, you can just go ahead and opt in for a new uh, board. And that's pretty much all you need. Now, you can obviously create a new board, you can create a new portfolio, boards, documents, dashboards, if you want. Uh, form folder, all those things are going to also be available for you within the free version. All in all, there are going to be a lot of stuff that are free uh, to use. Now, some of the things that can be um, you need to actually upgrade for are going to be the limitations like the amount of stuff that you can create. Like tasks and stuff, don't worry about those, those are unlimited. But there are some things like templates, uh, automations, integrations I, no never mind i don't think integrations need any upgrading to my knowledge but there are some some stuff that uh, you may need later on like more team members basically if you want me to summarize how good the free version is if you're just starting out and you don't really need a lot of team members with you then the free version is more than enough 
for you and your limited team members to manage using it. But if you need to upgrade and if you have a bigger company, then that's only where you will need to upgrade. With that being said, this is a very quick review on Monday's free version. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.